Yo, what is up, people? I am almost certainly real. We are going after uh, Aftershock. So this is a meta progression thing in 20 minutes till dawn. Shooting my last bullet does damage in an AoE to all enemies. So we're using the crossbow. It has a one projectile. So you shoot, reload, shoot, reload. And we are going to try to stand still. So this actually took me a couple runs to kind of figure stuff out. So this is the run where I beat it. I'm going to fast forward for a little bit of stuff because I'm not going to lie. This what you're seeing right now is rather indicative of what the entire run looks like. Yeah, it is not super exciting. Not a lot of dip duck dodge happening. Anyways, upgrade wise, um, just trying to get some fat damage because that's going to increase the damage that we're doing with the pulse or uh, aftershock. Then there is, uh, so there's a synergy upgrade mini clip that you want to get. It is fan fire and fresh clip, and that gives you 100% uh, reload rate, 50% bullet damage, and minus 666 max ammo. Later on, frost is pretty important. You could maybe do it without it. Yeah, but let's speed this up, and then I will go back to normal speed for sort of the boss fights. Okay, yeah, so this uh, first boss, pretty easy. We have enough knockback that really we can just kind of keep him at bay. You got to be a little bit careful with the exploder guys, because I think you, you can take damage from the exploder guys. Uh, so you can see here that we pick up haste, and I, I'm just picking that up for the level 15 boss. I like to have it. We're not great at, at killing the level 15 boss. It's where we waste a lot of time. But yeah, we just kind of blast away, and uh, yeah, we got the chest. Pretty easy. Um, and what do we get here? Uh, yeah, we got the 40 experience, which I feel like is decent, but uh, the other ones I think are better. It depends a little bit what you can get with the 3X. Anything with reload rate or uh, bullet damage is awesome. I I'm kind of wondering, I wonder if you can get, can you get the synergy upgrades with the um, three time upgrade thing? Cause that'd be insane if you got mini clip, you'd get 300% reload rate and 150% bullet damage. Yeah, but let, uh, let's go ahead and speed it back up into the next boss. Enter stage left. Okay, this guy is a lot harder. Um, we do not do great damage to him, um, but we get the damage upgrade there that is pretty nice for us. You can see we're taking some hits, which is not ideal. Um, you could definitely do it without taking hits. You just kind of got to be a little bit careful and a little bit lucky. We also get an insane number of upgrades throughout here because we're starting to pick up all that experience that was just lying there on the ground. After you get uh, fan fire, stuff starts to die kind of far away from you. So you don't get that like everything coming in and giving you experience. Yeah, so here you can see us get the mini clip. That is such a huge upgrade. That is 100% reload rate, 50% bullet damage. That makes finishing this boss off a lot easier. We probably could have got that experience a little bit before. I was like kind of trying to stand still as much as possible, but not quite. Like later on in the game, there's some parts where I move when I don't really have to. This is awesome for us. The 50% bullet damage is really amazing on the Tome of Power. It's a pretty easy pick. This point in the game, it starts to get a lot more annoying. So you get those things that shoot the red balls. You can push them away with your gun. I'm not sure what the exact distance is, but they, they need to be within a certain range to actually shoot at you. If they come from the top or bottom of the screen, you really don't have very much time to react. So there's a little bit of an RNG element in terms of like how you're able to react and deal with those eyes. I think at this point in the game, there can only be a max of two on the screen. Later in the game, it's definitely a bigger problem. You can see me there starting to focus fire that one eye in the bottom right to uh, push him away so he doesn't shoot at me. 
Yeah, but let's uh, let's fast forward again. You'll see, I think every once in a while in this segment, I'm gonna have to move to dodge a ball. Yeah, so here I see the stronger guys coming out. That's just a convenient time to go pick up all the experience. You probably actually don't really need to, um, but it is fun. So you're gonna see, we're gonna get a lot of levels here. We're just gonna be picking up damage if we can. Um, I think we get our, yeah, we get the frost. Uh, we get that filled out and that helps us deal with the big guys. The 25% damage per hit is OP, and then the Shatter is very nice as well. Grabbing Magnetism there, uh, just to make this a little bit easier and go a little bit faster, we're just gonna run in a circle and get a crap ton of levels. Since we have minus 666 from the mini clip, we can get that plus two uh, max ammo safely there. Kill clip seems really good, but I don't know how good it is, because we're reloading so fast that I don't know that we're actually killing that many units between our reloads. Um, yeah, Reaper Rounds, great, does more damage, uh, Pierce. Yeah, so getting Ice Shards here is nice. Those are another thing that proc on reload. So we are absolutely going to be spamming those things out. There's not really a crazy amount of stuff left that's actually good for us. Um, if we're to be honest, we probably don't really need uh, very many of these upgrades. Blazing speed gives us access to in the wind though there, so we pick it up and a little bit of movement speed's always nice. Really at this point, I think shatter is the only big upgrade we don't have that we'd like to get. Even then, I don't think that we necessarily really need it. I think we're fine basically knocking stuff away and freezing it. Speak of the devil, there is shatter. That is a big upgrade. 25% max HP explosions. Those are fat. Okay, our experience donut is almost cleaned up. There's assassin. That one's insane. Automatically kill below 20% HP, especially comboed with uh, all the freeze upgrades. You can kind of chain all that stuff together really well. And that was uh, quite a lot of experience. Yeah, I went back and looked in the video. We went from a level 17 to a level 28 there with that experience donut. We uh, probably could have let it build up more, but yeah, it feels like that's a good time to go pick up that experience when these new guys come out. You can see what I mean about the eyes coming from the top, right? And those uh, red balls. There's definitely a lot more of them at this point in the game. So it becomes, yeah, you got to move a little bit more. They do disappear again at some point. I, I can't remember exactly when they appear and disappear. But there we've got the next boss that shows up with the freeze and knockback. He's no real risk to us. Um, in general, it feels like other than the 15 minute left boss that charges at you, all the bosses are uh, pretty inconsequential. Took a bit of a hit there, but I honestly, I think that that may have just been me being somewhat AFK. I was definitely doing a little bit of other stuff while I was playing this run. I love this, the triple upgrade. Triple your next upgrade. I feel like that is just such a fun upgrade to get. I really do wonder if you can combine it with synergies because you could get some insane stuff out of that. Just gonna let a little bit of experience here stack up and then go take that level. We're pretty close to it, um, but at level 25 plus, you do need a good amount of experience to level. I think it can be a little bit more impactful early though, uh, just because you get a lot of percent like attack speed percent damage by this point in the game that getting more isn't necessarily that worth it. Um, so here into the wind is kind of crazy because it's max 40% um, movement speed, which we don't care about, but also uh, weapon damage, which we do care about. And then we can triple that to 120%. Um, I don't think it's at, like it's not actually 120% because I think all the sources of uh, increased damage are additive and not multiplicative. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Okay, I am going to go ahead and speed it up again and we will check back in.
Okay, so we got the laser eye boss now. I think he's overall pretty easy. The tough guys with wings uh, seem to spawn a lot less. It, I mean, they might even stop spawning. More eyes, I think more eyes definitely show up, so you gotta dodge a little bit, but overall I, th I think this boss is pretty easy. I like the enemies in the game and the enemy variety, but I do think um, maybe some of the, bo the bosses can maybe be made a little bit tougher. With Assassin and um, the Frost damage, we have okay boss damage, but not great. We could maybe be a little bit closer and hit with more projectiles. We definitely could have got some different upgrades that would have made this a little bit faster. Curse-wise, all these I think are overall kind of bad. The bounce is maybe okay. It's kind of fun. Um, the bullet damage loss, I don't think it's that much because I think it's additive with other bullet damage. I don't actually know. I, I gotta figure that out. If you do know, I would appreciate it if you posted a comment. But yeah, let's speed it up again for a sec. Okay, we got the uh, we got the dragon boss guy. He is, I think, even easier. And we got our last chest, so we've got ourselves the Halo pieces. Um, and we're going to run around and try to get that upgrade, because it's kind of fun. It is actually pretty good for our build. Overall, I don't think that it's crazy good, because it takes up a chest, and then you need to get three upgrades for it. So we've got two Halo pieces already. We have a lot of unlocks, so we should be able to get them all pretty quick. The other upgrades really are not going to be very impactful. At this point, I think we have pretty much everything we want, and we really don't even need to get this. But we do have a very satisfying experience donut there. I am actually going to speed it up again. We get insanely bad RNG here. I honestly thought that there was like something wrong with the game or I had missed something, but there is the final Halo piece and it actually drops on the ground. I didn't realize this. I noticed it here, but I had gotten it before and I think I just like picked it up by accident. But yeah, it's got 50% fire rate, 50% reload rate, which we care about. And then it's also got 75% vision, which um, maybe is useful with glare. I don't know. I've never really used glare much. Um, yeah, we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll let the last little bit of the game just kind of run out. This was pretty fun to do. It took me a couple tries to kind of figure stuff out a little bit. Um, I don't know if it would be as doable without the frost. You definitely would not be able to, to do enough damage, I think, to these guys right here. You could maybe um, knock them back enough, though. Maybe just somehow get more projectiles and use that to just keep them away from you. But overall, I thought it was kind of like a fun build, um, a little bit unique. When I saw that Aftershock meta progression, I knew that I kind of wanted to try it out. The AoE on it is very, very small. We only really used it, I guess, probably for the first five minutes or so, but it did work extremely well. Yeah, and that is it, a, a W. If you have any cool ideas for builds, do post them in the comments, and thanks for watching. And if you don't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe.